Hi there, welcome to the Top Dog Tips YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us today. We're gonna to be talking about 20 reasons why your dog won't eat or drink and the best solutions. Before we get into that, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's how we continue to grow our following. And also be sure to subscribe to our website using the link in the description. If you subscribe using the link, you will receive a free ebook on 25 vet recommended homemade dog food recipes. Well, without further ado, let's get into it. So all dogs love food. So when yours refuses food during mealtime, it may be something to worry about. Refusal to drink water is even more worrisome. Typically, there are many reasons why a dog won't eat or drink and even more solutions to solve this problem with and without veterinary help. If you find yourself asking, why won't my dog eat or drink or my dog won't eat and is acting weird, what's wrong? Consider the last few days. What has your dog been doing for the previous two to three days? Could they have eaten anything they shouldn't have? Did you just bring them into a new environment? or did your dog have surgery or any major lifestyle changes? Now, when your dog won't eat or drink, make note of any other symptoms that accompany a dog's loss of appetite or anorexia. For example, any type of lethargy, nausea, diarrhea, or excessive drooling. While your dog's occasional refusal to eat is normal, prolonged lack of appetite and especially thirst can be a sign of a serious health problem. So here are some potential reasons as to why your dog won't eat or drink and what to do about it. Number one, simply not hungry, not thirsty. Even though anyone who's ever cared for a Labrador Retriever will tell you that this is impossible, sometimes a dog may simply not be hungry. In that case, they should begin showing signs of hunger within 24 hours. This is not necessarily a sign of any sickness. Thirst is a different matter and your dog should drink at least within 12 to 14 hours. If after that period of time has passed, the dog won't eat or drink anyway, this may be a symptom of something more serious than just being hungry or thirsty. Number two, the dog has a stomach ache. If a dog may have eaten Eating something that doesn't agree with them or they have an upset stomach. Causes of tummy aches in dogs are common, but you will almost always see symptoms of an upset stomach, such as vomiting, diarrhea, salivating, or pacing. Puppy not eating or drinking can be caused by an upset stomach as well. They are very curious and might try to eat or nibble and swallow whatever comes their way. If your dog isn't eating or drinking because they have a stomach ache, barring any signs of serious illness or comprised immune function, monitor them for a day. Aside from stomach relief, medicine you can offer your dog some boiled chicken and rice a homemade dog food meal with chicken and rice will firm up the dog's loose stool settle an upset tummy and will tempt even a picky eater to entice your dog to drink more instead of plain water you can try chicken broth it smells better and it'll be more appetizing to your pet quick note older dogs puppies or dogs with compromised immune systems should be seen by a veterinarian much sooner than adult dogs whenever they lose their appetite and an illness of any kind is suspected number three there's too many dogs Dog treats. Most doggy snacks, even healthy treats, are high in calories. When you feed your dog too many treats, it's not surprising that they get full. If your dog won't eat or drink because they've had too many treats, you'll obviously remember that this may be the reason. If you do not feed your pet any treats, ask family members if they did. A dog who refuses food and water because they've eaten too many treats will be fine after skipping a meal or eating a smaller portion later than usual. And don't be surprised if your dog's had an upset stomach due to eating tons of calorie-dense treats as well. Number four, the dog dislikes their food. Occasionally, your dog won't eat because they simply dislike the dog food brand being offered. Most dogs aren't picky eaters, but some are, and they will turn their nose up at new or different dog foods, even if it's the top quality. Sometimes a dog will even decide that they no longer like the food that they've been eating for a while. Fortunately, a dog who refuses to eat because they dislike a specific brand of pet food can easily be tempted by another brand that's more appealing. In addition, you'll simply need to buy a new bag of dog food. Alternatively, you can keep the same food and add mixers and toppers in to make the meal more appealing. Remember to account for additional calories. Another option is to mix some wet dog food into the bowl or add a little bit of a dog friendly human food that may entice your dog to eat. Quick note, when switching to a new dog formula, don't throw away the old bag to save money and not let it go to waste. Try inconspicuously adding a little bit of it to each meal of new kibble. Number five is your dog is just not feeling great. Have you ever thought or looked at your dog and thought that my dog won't eat and is acting weird what's happening sometimes our dogs just feel off it can be a simple cold or flu 
or general tiredness. On days like this, it's possible that a dog won't eat or drink for a while. They just simply choose to rest. If you suspect your dog isn't eating because they feel slightly unwell, check their temperature and observe them for a day. If your pet shows obvious signs of illness, call or visit a veterinarian. But when your dog seems to be feeling off, try tempting them with some boiled chicken and rice like I mentioned earlier. Dogs that seem unwell for more than a day or refuse multiple meals and water should be taken to a veterinary clinic regardless. Number six, the dog is in some kind of pain. Dogs who are experiencing pain will often refuse to eat or drink, but it may be difficult to decipher when your dog is suffering. Some signs that your dog is in pain and signs you should watch out for is limping, lameness, tucking their tail under their body, seeming to cower as they walk. They cannot get comfortable, always unsettled. They're pacing and excessively panting. When your dog has a condition like arthritis, which causes them pain, it may be time to administer pain relief or talk to your vet about increasing pain management medications. If your dog doesn't have a condition requiring pain medication, head to your vet as soon as possible to find out why they aren't eating or drinking. Number seven, unfamiliar surroundings. A dog that is unfamiliar with where they're at will often refuse to eat or drink due to stress or not feeling comfortable. It's a result of them having anxiety and fear of being in a new setting or like having unfamiliar people or animals around or simply being distracted by a unique situation. You'll need to calm the dog down to make them feel comfortable. A pet that won't eat or drink in unfamiliar surroundings will eventually decide to eat when they become very hungry. If you're concerned, create a safe space with comforting materials like a crate with a familiar scented blanket or familiar toys where the dog can eat and drink. Number eight, your dog is experiencing anxiety. Speaking of serious cases of anxiety, there are other reasons that may be the cause of it and it subsequently could make the dog not want to eat or drink. Anxiety causing lack of appetite is especially true for dogs who are prone to an experience of severe separation anxiety. They'll be in a state of hyper awareness. Their focus is on fight or flight rather than their need to eat or drink. The only way to get this type of dog to eat or drink is to ease their anxiety via anxiety aids, behavior modification, anxiety vest, provision of a safe space and other methods to calm them down. Anxiety also causes a variety of behavioral and physical problems in dogs and it's important to address it sooner rather than later. Number nine, they could be suffering some potential medication side effects. If your dog's taking any current medications or if they start or a new one, this could be the cause. Take a look at the medication and read through the potential side effects and call a vet if you're unable to figure it out by yourself. When a dog won't eat or drink, new medications are common to be the cause of this, but the side effect eventually wanes off or tapers off. In the meantime, try tempting them with some chicken and rice or like boiled chicken and rice or food toppers and chicken broth. If your dog has been on medication for a while and continues to experience anorexia, you need to talk to your vet about alternative medications. Number 10, it could be that you recently took them to get vaccinated. For some dogs, vaccinations can cause a lingering feeling of sickness. These dogs generally exhibit signs of malaise, anorexia, lethargy, and even depression. It may last a few days to a week following vaccination. Although vaccination reactions are uncommon, if you believe that your dog won't eat or drink due to a new vaccine, talk to your vet. It's crucial that your veterinarian's aware of your dog's reaction to a recent vaccination to make necessary changes to the dog's health care schedule over vaccination is a real problem, so be aware of the negative effects. Number 11, change in a dog's regular schedule. Dogs are creatures of habit. While they may not tell time, they have a body clock and a daily routine. I know that for a fact, as I'm sure other dog owners, because your dog will let you know when it's time to eat, as the, at least my dog sits by her bowl or sits by the stairs to try and coax me to get down from, because my bedroom's upstairs. They try and tell me that time to go downstairs because it's time to eat. So when anything interrupts this routine, it's possible a dog won't eat or drink due to the stress and confusion. It's not very common. However, in fact, the reverse is actually observed by pet owners. For example, when we turn our clocks back, our dogs are ready to eat before dinner time. And when your dog is not eating or drinking due to a change in schedule, they should have no trouble eating a little later in the day when their body clock tells them that it's dinner time. Number 12, your dog has a toothache. Toothaches are actually very common cause of reluctance to eat or drink in dogs. A pet with dental issues may exhibit a number of symptoms, including signs of pain when attempting to eat, pawing at the mouth, rubbing the mouth against the ground, fever, mouth odor, and visible signs of infection or broken teeth in the mouth. If you suspect that the dog won't eat or drink due to dental problems, check inside their mouth. Sometimes toothaches can be the result of something stuck between the teeth. In this case, simply remove whatever's stuck between the teeth. If you notice signs 
signs of redness, pale gums, swelling, infection, or a broken tooth, head in to see your veterinarian. Number 13 is intimidation by another pet. If you recently brought another pet in your home or have one who is food aggressive or aggressively dominant, it could be causing your dog's anorexia. Dogs understand the concept of hierarchy and may become submissive when threatened by a more dominant animal. The dog will simply defer to that animal. This deference applies to many areas of life, including meal times. If you believe that your dog won't eat or drink due to intimidation, separate your dog's meal times. Keep them out of each other's view and ensure that the more submissive dog has time to finish their meal without the dominant animal present. Number 14 is broken regular habits. Sometimes we can inadvertently train our dogs into bad habits. For example, if you have a habit of adding a topper to your dog's food and then run out of it, your dog may refuse to eat it because their dog food now smell or taste different than before. This refusal to eat is the result of training your dog to expect something. In this case, a tasty topper at every meal. Although seen as manipulation in human terms, this is actually a result of your dog seeing their meal as not being ready to eat. You can avoid that by incorporating variations into your dog's meals. Try feeding a topper only every other meal. Number 15 is your dog is grieving. Grief can be devastating for humans and animals. Uh, whether your dog has lost an animal companion or a human companion, a dog won't eat or drink if they're dealing with grief, which can also result in depression. Knowing how to tackle grief in dogs is tricky and often requires veterinary intervention for your part try to keep your dog busy play with them walk more get them tired and hungry also tempt the dog by adding toppers to their food bringing home a new companion for them or simply just giving your dog extra attention some dogs in particular will struggle with grief to a large degree and will require even medications to reorient themselves back to life without their lost companion if you suspect that's the case, talk to your vet about available options. So the next one is depression. If your pooch has not been active lately and you asked yourself, why is my dog not moving or eating and drinking? Just like grief, depression can affect your dog's appetite too. Dogs may become depressed, not only after losing a companion, but also due to a lack of activity, prolonged absence of their owner or a friend or family member, and even the weather psychologists say. If you suspect that your dog won't eat or drink because they're press, try to determine the exact cause. Talk to your vet about possible solutions to make the effort to include your dog in fun activities, enough playtime and bonding time together. Next one is impending change. Some dogs simply have a sense that something is changing. For example, if you're about to go on a vacation and you'll put them in a kennel or if you're about to move to a new house, these intuitive pets are generally anxious dogs. If you believe your dog won't eat or drink because there's something on the horizon that they sense, tempt them with toppers or human food additions in their meal. Also make the effort to stick your dog's normal routine and spend time with them to make your dog feel more secure. Dogs who experience anorexia as a result of impending change may sometimes refuse to eat completely until that change takes place. If you're concerned about the refusal of multiple meals, talk to your vet. Number 18, exposure to toxins. If your dog's been exposed to toxins and may have a lack of appetite, dogs can be exposed to toxins in any manner of way, including general house products, and you'll almost always see symptoms of toxin exposure to your pet. These signs are drooling, panting, pawing at the face, vomiting, diarrhea, gagging, collapse, trouble breathing, inability to get comfortable, and pacing. When you suspect that your dog was exposed to and or has ingested a toxin, seek veterinary assistance immediately. Call the Pet Poison Helpline if you believe that your dog's eaten something they shouldn't have. If you have any idea what your dog's ingested, take the packaging with you to the vet. When there's no packaging, let the veterinarian know what it is that the dog ate. Exposure to toxins is exceptionally dangerous and requires treatment in an emergency veterinary environment. Number 19 is intestinal blockage. It's another common reason when dogs won't eat or drink, when dogs consume items they should not or experience a blockage due to items lodged in the intestines, their digestive tract stops. This means that no food can pass through the animal system. This may cause a lack of appetite because the dog feels uncomfortable and unwell. Other canines may attempt to eat but find that they vomit their food back up almost immediately. Intestinal blockages are very serious and require immediate veterinary attention. Leaving an intestinal blockage without veterinary attention can result in necrosis of the intestines and eventual death. Once an intestinal blockage has been removed or dislodged, your dog's appetite should return to normal. And the last one, severe disease 
disease or illness. Perhaps the most feared reason for a dog not eating or drinking is a serious illness or disease. There are many that reduce or eliminate the dog's appetite or thirst, with one of the most serious ones being cancer. When a dog won't eat or drink and you notice them looking unwell or acting odd, seek a vet. The earlier you're able to catch it, the sooner you can begin treating it. While many dog owners fear this to be the cause of anorexia, it's actually one of the least common reasons. So don't panic, consult your vet and allow them to perform testing and get to the bottom of your dog's lost appetite. Let's talk about maybe some treatment and home remedies. Once you've confirmed that your dog is not eating or drinking for quite some time, you need to do all necessary measures to gain their appetite back. The treatment will depend on why your dog's not moving or eating and drinking. If your dog has an existing illness, then you may have to consult your vet for a more palatable prescribed diet. If it is more of a behavior problem than a medical condition, then you ought to try these steps. Number one, give fewer treats. Two, feed on a fixed schedule at least twice a day. Three, make mealtime more fun by using food as a reward or putting feed in a toy. Four, take your pooch for a walk or play with them before mealtime. Five, warm up your dog's feed to produce a better aroma and taste. Six, experiment with different dog foods and see which one suits their appetite. If you've tried these remedies and your dog still won't eat and is acting weird, instead you should take them to the vet immediately. When the cause is identified, the vet will either prescribe the necessary medication and provide a new diet or recommend syringe feeding. So how long can a dog go without food or water? Dogs will be able to go around three days without water and survive five days to a week or more without any food. I have a new puppy and they're not eating or drinking. What do I do? Puppies can be picky eaters. So if you find your new dog not eating or drinking give them more time to adapt to your place a new puppy can go a day or two without eating since they'd be too occupied exploring their surroundings they'll be too distracted to recognize their hunger signals another reason your new puppy is not eating or drinking is an upset stomach puppies tend to eat or nibble whatever they find they might have swallowed scraps or garbage without you noticing it well that's going to do it for us here at top dog tips thanks for joining if you learned something new please be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel that's how we continue to grow our following with that i hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.